Now at 5.30, an Eyewitness News exclusive. From what you know, do you think Fotis had anything to do with Jennifer's disappearance? I can't comment on that. It's a story that's made international headlines. More than three months have now passed since New Canaan mother of five, Jennifer Dulos, was last seen dropping her children off at school. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Denise DeSento. Hi, everybody. I'm Mark Zinni. Dulos' ex-husband and his girlfriend are charged in connection with her disappearance. Jennifer's family and friends haven't really had too much to say until now. Tonight, we are hearing from one of Jennifer's close friends. Channel 3's Erin Connolly sat down with her exclusively to talk about Jennifer her personality and her relationship with Fotis. She was very thoughtful. Like on my birthday, she sent me all white flowers, just all white. Just she's just a peaceful person. When Rana Marie Giuliano and her ex-husband moved to Canton in 2004, they became neighbors with Jennifer Dulos and her then husband Fotis Dulos. Giuliano says she and Jennifer clicked right away. She was creative. She was very caring. Um, and she aimed to please her husband. Their husbands bonded too. Giuliano's ex joined the Ford Group, the custom home building company started by Fotis Dulos. Fotis can be very pleasant. He can be very calm and um, convincing and appear like an honorable man. The two families vacation together, everywhere from Aspen to Greece. They spent some holidays together and there were many play dates with their kids. But Giuliano says she lost touch with Jennifer and Fotis in 2016. But on May 24th, when she heard her friend of 13 years was missing, she picked up her phone and left Jennifer a voicemail. She never heard back. She could be anywhere. Um, and I obviously fear the worst. The Duloses had been entangled in a bitter two-year divorce prior to her disappearance. Police say on the day Jennifer went missing, people appearing to be Fotis Dulos and his then-girlfriend Michelle Traconis were seen on surveillance video disposing of trash bags in Hartford's North End. Inside, some of the items had Jennifer's blood on them. And I just prayed to God that he had nothing to do with it, you know, but I don't know. While Giuliano wouldn't say if she thinks Fotis Dulos had anything to do with Jennifer's disappearance, she did say during her time with Fotis, she noticed he had a short temper. So you've seen Fotis snap in person? Mm -hmm. But I did see like when the nanny dropped juice. Um, I've given this example before on the counter. Um, you could see where Fotis's language changed in his volume. And there again, Jennifer was very adept at calming him and that's what you do because you don't want to be embarrassed in front of people. Fotis Dulos and Michelle Traconis have both pled not guilty to evidence tampering and hindering prosecution. While the New Canaan Police Department has received thousands of tips, there has been no sign of Jennifer. Everybody loves her and you know I'm just so sorry that I distanced myself and that I wish we could have battled the family court together. Aaron Connolly, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Now, both Fotis Dulos and Michelle Traconis are expected back in court next month. And the Dulos' five children remain in the care of Jennifer's mother in New York City. And if you have any information about this case, once again, you're asked to call New Canaan Police.